Hello and welcome to Namer of the Guardian's Realm, formerly known as Heartstrings Deeper Thinking. Today I'll be showing you how to make a more complex racing minigame for RPG Maker MV and MZ. If you would like a simpler tutorial, feel free to check out the tag above, as it's a link to my previous video that's very simple. First off, I'm going to show you this example. It might take a second to load, but this is actually a game progress for the Plague of 2020 video game. Uh, if you guys don't know, that's actually the project that I'm working on by myself, uh, as well as with my wonderful sound effects and um, composer. Um, if you guys would like to help support the project, we have a Patreon, uh, we have a Shopify with um, different types of merchandise, and a few other things like Kickstarter that we're working on. Anyways, here we go. Let's start off with talking to Millie here. So she runs the rat race. Um, we've made it so that she is able to take tickets. Um, and with those tickets, you get to choose which rat you think will win. We have five options, as you can see here. Gray, ginger, black, brown, and white. Um, when we pick one, let's do ginger this time. She takes our tickets. And then she does a little ready, set, go. Um, I'll show you how to do all of this in just a second. But as you can see, the rats are all moving at a different pace, right? And as you can tell, the the white one's gonna win, right? Okay, white one wins. You didn't you didn't pick that rat. Too bad. And then it resets the board. We can also talk to her again. And as you made oh shoot, wrong one. <laughs> um, you'll notice that even if you were to pick the same option over and over again, you would get three different results. Those are just the common ones that we've done. Um, and the rat will either win, lose, or get really close every time. So, um, that being the case, let's go ahead and go into the branching and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we've got our little event. This is Millie. Um, I'll show you actually first how to set up the rats here. So we have five different racers. Um, and like I said, uh, each time you choose one of these options, the racers will actually move differently. Um, so very simply, what I have for these, I have the um, the animal here. This is the gray rat, obviously. Um, and it's got the walking animation on. Um, and then in the second tab here, we have the switch rat race. Very simply, what's going on here is we have the route, which is just to move right. We're repeating the movements and skipping if cannot move. Okay. Um, the speed can be actually, it's best to keep it like this so that our um, other event, our melee event, can change um, how fast or slow these rats are moving. Uh, you do want this trigger to be set to parallel. Um, the options should be walking and stepping. Okay? And that's the same for each and every rat we've got here. It's the same exact thing, uh, just with a different name. Okay? Makes sense? You can do this for however many racers you want, um, but this is, this is what I've got here. We're working with five. Okay. So for our starting event, like I said, her name is Millie. Um, let's see here. So we've kind of just got introductory text. Text. This also shows us, um, specifically when it comes to the tickets, how she's going to go ahead and take those. Um, most of it's text. It's, it's showing you how many tickets it'll cost and all of that. Um, would you like to bet on the race? And then here's where the actual branching comes in. So show choices, yes or no. Yes, if the party has lottery tickets, you can designate this to be any sort of item. Um, but for me, it is item 185. Uh, we are gonna create an else branch, okay, for our lottery tickets. All right, so if you have them, great. Okay, which rat do you wanna bet on? We're gonna do show choices. And as you can see here, we have our five choices and then a never mind choice. You want to set the cancel to choice six so they can back out and they don't actually have to spend their tickets if they change their mind. <clears throat> you can also change the default choice to none so they it's not an automatic pick of, of these ones like I did. Okay, um, so let's go into the specific branching. Uh, for gray, the, our first option here, uh, we're going to control a switch. Gray bet on. Okay, pretty simple. You pick your switch here. Whoop, that's not it. Gray bet on. 
Okie dokie. Um, she's going to take two of your lottery tickets, so minus two lottery tickets. I have a little text message here saying, hey, these actually left your inventory. It's, it wasn't an automatic thing. That made no sense. <laughs> um, okay, so from here, we are doing kind of a scroll animation. So this character, our melee character, is going to turn down, wait 60 frames. We're going to scroll the map downwards. And this really just depends on where your actual race is, is happening. Um, uh, but scrolling it down at a normal speed here, you can choose the speed, you can choose the distance, uh, depending on how far away your race is from your character. Um, and you didn't, you don't have to do this part, but I did the ready, set, go, as you saw in the, in the previous um, stage. Now, for the ready, we're going to control the rats race switch on. And this is making it so that the rats are going to start um, doing their walking animation. Okay, wait 60 seconds, set, wait 60 seconds, go. Um, and then this is going to, con at this point we're going to control some variables. This decides who is going to win or lose. Okay, control variables, rat race winner, winner, <laughs> random, one through five. You can do one through three for this to make it simpler if you like. Um, but this was supposed to be a more complex tutorial, so here we go. Now, if your rat race winner, this is a conditional branch, by the way. I'll go through that really quick. So this was a conditional branch, and it was based on the variable. Um, I made one called rat race winner, and we need that to equal one. We're not creating an else branch for this because we're going to have multiple number options. Okay, so if the rat race equals one, we're going to set the movement route for the gray rat to be faster, the black rat a little bit faster, and then the brown rat, we're changing the frequency and the speed, so it it's faster but slower. Um, really for these steps, for any of these variables, for these um, any of these uh, conditional branches here, what you're doing is you're changing the animations of just random uh, racers to make it look more unique. So so the first one, it's making the gray rat going to be a winner, you can tell, um, but the brown rat's going to be close behind. Or close, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't used this in a while, but hopefully this tutorial does help. And then another option for the rat race winner number two, um, this one it looks like we were going to have the ginger rat win based on the frequency. You don't have to change all of these either. You could just change the rat um, that's going to be winning. You could change the frequency of that one to be higher, uh, like in my more simple tutorial. But for this one, we're trying to make it look more, um, like I said earlier, a little more unique. So we're changing the frequency of all the different animals for every one of these conditional branches. If rat race winner equals three, then very obviously the black rat's going to win. Um, each one of these options, by the way, the reason why it's one through five for the variable is because it's making sure that every time uh, a different rat will win. So there's a pretty even chance, there's like a one in five chance of your rat winning every time. Um, you could always make it so that, let's say if the race was rigged, you could make it so that, uh, let's say that the brown rat always wins, or almost always wins. Um, you could do that by adding more of these rat race winner um, conditions. So let's say if we, if we wanted the black rat to, rat to win for all of these, right? We would go ahead for each one of these variables, three, four, or five, we would want it to win all of those times. And then on the off chance, the ginger rat would win or on off chance, the gray rat would win. We would go in here, we would change the black rat frequency. We would make it highest, okay? We would change the speed to probably the fastest. Um, you could also do whatever you want just to make sure that your rat will win. So you would go ahead, punch that all through, go okay, go okay. And I'm not actually changing this because I don't want the dynamic to change, but if you wanted your rat to be, like I said, if you wanted the black rat to win, you would change this one to make it the fastest, you would change this one to make it the fastest, and that would make it like a three out of five chance that that rat would win, or your racer would win, you know what I mean. So as we're going through all of these, you may notice, once again, that the numbers are all different. We've got our one through five and we're done, okay? Now to reset the sequence, 
we need to control the self switch A and turn it on. Okay, that'll take us to our next page here. Self switch A is on. Okay, this is determining who is the winner or not. Um, for the page um, conditions and such like that, priority needs to be same as characters, trigger is parallel. Uh, you want the walking option checked, uh, but you want the movement fixed. So you're going to wait 300 frames, is usually what I do. You're going to scroll the map back up, all of the coordinates that you had it scrolled down. Um, and then based on the variables here, so we had the 1 through 5, like I'd mentioned earlier. Um, these variables in general just determine which route would win. I kind of already mentioned this, but specifically, um, if, let's see if I can make this make sense. So, for the rat race winner, if it were to equal one, that would mean that you bet, uh, you, you had, <laughs> so the gray rat's going to win for option one, all right, for variable option one. For variable option two, the ginger rat's always going to win. For variable option three, it's going to be the black rat winning. Uh, four is the brown rat winning, and five is the white rat winning. And this all, all of this applies, and it, it makes it easier for the branching and such. All of that is the same for each and every one of these extra variables through here. Like earlier, so we did the first one uh, for the gray rat, and then that also applies. It goes all the way down. You just repeat all of that stuff um, from the first set that we did. Repeat it and change it to make sure that one means the gray rat wins, uh, two the ginger rat wins. You can change the frequency and speed for all of these so they all look unique. Um, three the black rat, and then the brown rat, and the white rat. So that's that's the same for every single one. That's what determines the winner. Um, but you can make it different, little, little details like this different every time is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so back to this. Um... So if the rat race winner equals one, the gray rat wins, right? Um, if you bet on the gray rat, then you get this little message. You won. Do you want your prize in cash or tickets? This is just a little option I did. You don't have to do this for years. Um, cash would be to get you currency for the game, um, and tickets would be uh, refunding or giving you prize tickets. So um, show choices. Okay, we already went over that. Um, we're changing your gold plus 20. If you want tickets, okay, here you go. And you get plus four lottery tickets. So double the amount that you would have spent um, for this kind of gambling ring. <clears throat> and I forgot to mention earlier. So for this gray bet, um, you do, so this was, uh, sorry if I'm being very confusing. So this gray, rat bet is on. This is another switch that we made um, earlier. And if that one is on, we're going to create that else branch. Okay. Okay. And then do you want your prize in this or this? We already did the show choices. But for the else, this is if you didn't bet on that rat. It says, okay, you didn't pick that rat. I'm sorry, better luck next time. All right. And this same, this same mechanic goes down here. Rat race winner two, Ginger bet is on, ginger rat was one. So you, oh, for these, it's pretty simple for just, it, you're really just copying and pasting things. Um, not all of this, but you do want to make sure that like for your condi conditional branching here, like if, if, if rat race winner won, and then that whole entire section here, you need to make sure that that's separate. And then the second part here and the third part and the fourth part are all at the very end dot here. So it doesn't interfere with, um, it doesn't actually mess up your event. You need it to all be at the very end. So it goes all the way one through five for all of these, um, all of these options here. And then we're going to reset the board. Um, there might be other ways to do this, but this is just how I was able to make it work. So hopefully it's helpful to you. So after you've gone through your one through five racers and just changed a few little things here and there, um, making sure that the racer that's supposed to win is winning um, and the different animations are set, you want to go ahead and fade out the screen. Okay, here I'll show you where, how to do that. So you'll be able to find fade out screen, I believe, if I can find it. It's been a little while, like I said. So under screen, 
for event commands fade out screen. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. Okay, you're going to wait 60 seconds and I will, I, I'm sure that you guys know by this point how this works, but I'll show you anyway. So wait for timing and then you choose the duration, so 60 seconds. Um, self switch A is off, so we're switching her from this page, the winning page, back to the beginning page. Right, back to here. Hello there. Um, okay, so back to the bottom. So now we're going to reset the board by putting each of the racers back in their original spot. So we're setting the event location of each and every one back to their original position. So um, let's go ahead and, and show you where this is happening here. So you'd want to go, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Set event location under movement. So usually it's for a vehicle, right? Um, but I believe for ours over here, set event location and it's an event, right? Okay, I think I did that wrong. Hold on, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Pardon, not vehicle location, like this, this silly goose I am, um, but set event. So once again, we're setting the rats, or our racers, and we're changing the desig <laughs> designation of where they're gonna be, right? Back to their original spot. You want to actually, if you're doing what I'm doing and just having them go in a straight line, um, you wanna retain the direction, all right? You'd go ahead and click okay for that. Once again, for each and every one, we're gonna control the variables um, for the rat race winner, which is what, it's that one through five variable. We want to go ahead and set that to zero. We're going to control our switches, rat race off, so the rats are not moving when we re when everything's all reset. And then we're fading in the screen, okay? And all of that should take us back to Millie being restarted again, and we can keep betting and betting and betting to our heart's content, okay? So hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. Um, we're just, we're doing our best to work on the Plague of 2020 video game. Um, and that's, you know, that's what we've been doing our best for here in the near, here recently. That's what we've been doing. Um, now, if you would like to help support this, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we have a Shopify with official Plague of 2020 merchandise. Um, we have a Patreon. We have like a $2 just basic support tier that would really help us pump out more tutorials like this. And also to show you more little sneak peeks of the Plague of 2020. Um, Besides that, I will be doing a third racing tutorial. Um, this one would be, instead of just going straight forward, going through kind of like a maze and having you be able to control one of the racers. So until next time, my dear friends, uh, keep an eye out, keep an ear out. If you liked this video, please go ahead, give it a like. Um, put a comment down below if you're having any sort of uh, issues making this sort of um, race a reality. Um, and, you know, besides that, feel free to subscribe. We'll be making more videos like this soon. Besides that, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.